Yeah, we're gonna be trying out a cookie company that I don't know if many of you guys have heard of, but we have them here in Memphis. They're called Great American Cookies. Now, it's kind of similar to Crumble Cookies and other places too, but we're gonna go ahead and try them out and see what they're like. So we ended up getting red velvet, white macadamia nut, chocolate macadamia, strawberry crinkle, blueberry muffin, caramel churro, and cookies and cream. So are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and do a taste test. Okay, the first one I'm going to try is this big, big red velvet cookie. Now, it's a cookie made with a perfect uh, blend of cocoa and vanilla, buttermilk, and rich cream cheese chips. Mm -hmm. So, let's give it a go. Hmm. I kind of wish it wasn't so thin, but the flavor is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. I love white chocolate. That's my favorite type of chocolate. <laughs> I can taste the good hint of cocoa. But the flavor is on point, and you can really taste both the chocolate a little bit of vanilla, the chocolate, a little bit of vanilla, and especially the, you know, white chips. I'm not quite as big of a fan, so for me, this isn't bad. Just not great. Decent, it's good. Just nothing too special. Mission Slumber Heating Show. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a, you know, it's a basic 24 hour challenge where my wife can come to do everything during that day. Yeah, you know, are you ready? Let's get started. I'm starting off with what looks like scrambled eggs, cream with some cheese on it. You got some pepper, and best of all, bagels with, I can tell from the look of it, she clearly did this with me in mind because she knows that I love garden vegetable cream cheese. <laughs> that puts a little bit of a smile on my face. And she wants you to know that she, and she wants you to know that she also made the bagels herself. These are not like, you know, store-bought, these are homemade from scratch. Let's start with the eggs. I'm just gonna get some, I think that's American cheese. Not bad. Yeah, pretty peppery very warm. American cheese are melted mix of all my quite a few things. Made with ramen, yeah. Also like eggs. In this case, I'm gonna give this mm, a seven and a half out of ten. Quite good, quite good. Definitely not for my plate, but now for the homemade bagel with cream cheese. See how it tastes. Oh my god, no way, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the good stuff. That's you know rather thin compared to a lot of restaurant bagels. Which means Extra, you know, cream cheese. It's like one of those, if you have like a block of chocolate versus like all that chocolate spread out on top, like, I don't know, a pastry. It's a lot more chocolate concentrated. And it's also both, you know, you got a little bit of crunch, but it's kind of soft too, which I like. However, it does have the downside, it keeps trying to give me a cheese mustache. But when that's the only downside, let's see, yeah, this one would definitely have again. Yeah, I can see myself asking for this in the future. Nine. Hi, it's Tasty. So I want to see, like, at my folks' house. Stomach them sometimes, but not as often. Because it's kind of supplanting me on the tuna belt, making front. Kind of digging it. Mind you, I'm a big fan of lemon pepper, so keep that in mind. Again, we're back with dinner, and we're having some of my favorite like roasted you know, squash with lemon pepper seasoning. Yeah, you know, cheeseburger and some vanilla bean ice cream. Are you ready? Let's get started. One moment. Mm. This recipe has single-handedly, you know, made it so I always want to get like whenever my folks are like, "Do you want more veggies?" Yes, I'm now approaching a bottomless pit. You know, when it comes to like roasted vegetables. Let's see, what's the other one? Well, right. Zucchini and squash. Even, you know, Roma to me, the final, I actually kind of like those. And now let's try some of that ice cream. I said vanilla bean. Cheers. Vanilla isn't my favorite flavor, ever, but it isn't bad. Our son loves it, so we get a lot, though. Often I'll have it, like, with, like, chocolate syrup. Sure. But in this case, I won't with that. Almost, like, 20 years since it came out. Is it 20 years since it came out? I need to check. Food's still good, and I definitely like this. Time for lunch. Today, on this time I'm having chocolate cookies, ramen, and sliced peaches. An interesting thing about Warcraft, when it comes to like, you know, food, you often get like random drops of it, and frequently it's like, more often uses just like, you know, sell for some more, you know, like, coin.
So for dinner, I'm gonna be having a pineapple pizza and fish sticks with some peanuts from the sun. Now, Michael Ivan had a pizza. Mmm. Dark in coloration, but very soft. I know there's for some people that you know, pineapple is considered not an appropriate pizza topping, but I'm not in agreement with them. What was that? He's tried out these before us, and he loves everything seasoning and bagels. He loves everything seasoning bagels, so. He ate these up. Oh, these are amazing. These are doing, like, definitely a nine for me. Hmm. I'd say these are very oh, good, but they're not shit. quite blowing me away. Here we go again. Yeah, for me. Hmm. All right, so now we're going to do something called All Dressed, and this is, to my right, this is what they look like. They got a little bit of a red tinge to them, or I just kind of orange, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> What is all dress supposed to even mean? Like, I guess it's kind of like, was it everything on a burger or something like that? I, I don't even know. Like, what is all dressed? It's all dressed, of course. Like, how would this be different from, say, ketchup Pringles? You now, if it's a tomato ketchup. They're actually a seasoning. That's ketchup seasoning. You know that? I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Not really, to me, anything special. Like, mm. I like that one. I'll probably give that one, like, an eight and a half. Yeah, I'd say this one's a good one. Not quite, just a little bit short of a long way, but this is a good one. I'm gonna give this another eight and a half. This Last is... one we're gonna try is very interesting. We're gonna try chili cheese fries. Y'all know chili cheese fries is chili. Y'all know chili cheese fries is chili. Is chili. Is chili. Chili. It smells like chili cheese fries. <laughs> okay. I don't believe it. Let me see. I definitely smell the cheese. Immediate bite, immediate flavor. Then it's got a little bit of a spicy. Okay, at least a minute. Needs more heat for me to go, you know, spicy, but <coughs> I like the flavor. You and your spice. Mm -hmm. Not no spice to him. Me, this is enough. If you guys have a Walmart or any other store in your area, look for these, try them, and let us know what you think about them in the comment section below. We're very curious to find out. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's eating show. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for your notifications. I'll see you folks next video. This is Crystal. And Charles. Tanya. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies.